I think if somebody wanted wanted to wanted to put this on a marketplace or something, it'd be fifty bucks easy. Would you go fifteen on that? Put your bottom dollar for all the lunch boxes. I don't know. What would it be? Morning. Good about yourself. Less and less. <laughs> You've been selling a lot? Well, that's great. We sold all the big, seemed like we sold all the big stuff. What's left? Just little stuff. And my wife made all those Barbie houses and stuff. No kidding. That's being out of the, uh, those still work. Those are plastic. Uh, yeah, these are cool. I put those in, those are probably gotta be 50 years old. I put batteries on, they worked right away. Would you take five for them? I prefer to hang on to those for 10 because they do work and they work really, really nice. And I, I think if somebody wanted, wanted, to, wanted to put those on a marketplace or something, <clears throat> it'd be 50 bucks easy. You know how to do that? It's, it just pops right. It's, it's a weird, uh, uh, two double A batteries. Interesting. And that's, that's, that's old. That's gotta be 50 years old. Just meet me in the middle and go seven. Okay, I'll go seven. I appreciate you working with me. <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay, thank good luck you. with your sale. Yeah, thank you. Morning. Would you go 15 on that? It's marked 25. How about 20? Deal. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get your back game again. Awesome. I don't know what she had on it. A dollar? Yeah. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. Yeah, you have a catcher's mitt too? It would be her. <laughs> oh, yeah? What are you asking for your catcher's gear? Five bucks, I'll take it. Do you have a glove too by chance or bats or anything? Um we I don't know if my daughter has any bat gloves. Yeah, I don't know if she's looking. Okay. But um I don't know. We have we have this little slugger slugger that we just uh, but it's not you know it's it's her it was her childhood. Her, it's her childhood bat. It's still good. Okay. What would you need for that? Five dollars. Sure. It's already ten bucks. No gloves or anything? Fifty cents a piece. Right? Is that sure. what I said? Fifty cents a piece. No gloves though. Go for them all. There's all kinds of sizes and there's, there's a lot. I'm I Um yeah, I think she. I think she had given it to a child. We had so my girls are 17, 18 now. Oh, okay. I think their gloves they have passed on to like friends. Okay. Is that a printer in there? It is, and it has two brand new ink cartridges as well. Debbie's firm on it. Are you Debbie? I am not. It's my mother-in-law. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> it says firm Debbie right here. <laughs> Oh, she can return it? Well, the ink cartridges. Oh, gotcha. They're really expensive. But they last forever. Like, forever. 
Oh, this isn't the one on the box, is it? This is a different one. No, that is the one in the box. It is? Yeah, it should be. No, that's an HP. The box is a brother. Oh, okay. No, the, that one's her new one. She replaced it gotcha. with that one. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. No problem. I'm glad you said that because I didn't know. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> Who's the lunchbox collector? My husband. Oh yeah? Would you take 40 if I just bought all the lunch boxes? Uh, mother, would you take 40 for all those lunch boxes? Put your bottom dollar for all the lunch boxes. I don't know. What would it be? 50? I'll do 50, sure. Okay. I appreciate working with me. Are you a collector? No, I, I'm, I resell. There you go. Thank you All so right, much. Good you. luck with your sale. Oh, Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. How about yourself? I think I'm ready to settle up with you. Okay. I got two dollars here. Okay. Um, I think this is a dollar fifty. The hoodie was two, two fifty. That's four and two six. I think it, this was three. So that's nine. Nine dollars. All right. You want your hangers back? No, you can take them. Okay. You Thank be. you. Good luck Thank with the you. sale. Thank you so much. Morning. there okay i didn't see a price on this one okay so this one they actually had this set for it was like yeah, it said it was $5. well but this one was like a legit real jersey so he had it set for like 70 dollars. 70 wow yes, okay i'll just was, go with okay, that okay cool we need to put a price on that because yeah it's authentic and all that right. stuff did you need the hanger no. okay. <laughs> i'm like taking it off no no there you go. Thank you. Have a Thank good day. Thank you. You too. It's now the following day. Just now getting around to recording the end of this. And I did pretty good. I got all this stuff here and all those lunch boxes. I'll get all those lunch boxes out here in just a second. But as far as this stuff goes, I got this Batgaming set uh, by Cardinal. I paid a dollar for this. And I think it's vintage. Just by looking at the dice and um, the pieces, these do feel a little bit light, like not super heavy. There are some vintage Batgammon pieces. Um, I don't know if these are called chips or what. Somebody that knows Batgammon can comment and let me know. But there are some of these that go for really, really good money, like $50, $100, a set, and up. 
just for these pieces. Now, to figure out <laughs> which ones these are and if they have value, I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert at uh, the backgammon stuff. If anybody knows about these, leave a comment below if you have any idea of what you think these might be made of or, war uh, you know, value-wise. I'm super curious. They could be Bakelite. I don't know. I'll have to do some research and uh, find out. But for a dollar, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, take a chance and, um, you know, learn something in the process. I've got this Hamilton Beach coffee maker. Uh, this is the Flex Brew. Uh, looks like it is, you know, trying to be something like the Keurig, and it is compatible with the K-Cup. Um, I think 20 bucks for this, and it is selling right around like $45 plus shipping, so I was happy to get that. It's going to be a pretty easy list. List the thing, you know, show a picture of this, do like a stock photo, and then when it sells, just slap a label on it, and it's good to go, because I never opened the thing. Got a couple movies for a buck each. Classics, Wayne's World, and Uncle Buck. I uh, got these. These are really cool. Uh, Sony Walkman Sports Headphones. I paid 7 bucks, and they're selling right around 25 to 30 There was a few that were selling for 20 so I'd say the average is 25 Those should be a pretty quick and easy flip. Got some clothing at one sale. I got, just notice this has a some kind of stain on it. This Nike Golf um, zip-up jacket. I think it's a full zip. It is from uh, Whistling Straits, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, that's XL, so it should be a quick seller. I think I only paid three for that. Uh, this Under Armour hoodie, that's the one with the stain. Um, it is a full zip hoodie, and it is large. Um, besides the stain, it looks really clean, so I'll try to get that out uh, and try to flip that. I think that was $2, and I think this was $2 as well. I didn't look this up, but it felt like it had some really, um, it felt like it had some quality to it. Like it was, it was well made. Let's see. The brand is, I think it's Jax, J-A-C-K or J-A-C-H, Heritage Flannel. I can't find a size on the thing. Almost looks like my size. If it's my size, I might just keep this thing. That was only a couple bucks. I got this piece here at that church sale. This is Rockaware, and I think it is vintage. The fact that it had kind of like stripes, sort of color block, sort of not color block, I thought it was interesting. Um, I paid $2 for this. I looked up um, Rockaware polos, and they're going anywhere from like $10 on the cheap end to like $40 on the high end for uh, some of the more sought after uh, polos. So I thought that was interesting. I thought I'd take a chance. And once again, I'll learn something in the process. This is size 6X. Um, and I think that's going to help itself tend to do pretty good just because there's not that many of them out there. So I don't know. For two bucks, hard to go wrong. I got this uh, Louisville Quest fast pitch softball bat for five. That's going for about 20. Then I got this bag full of Under Armour catcher's gear. It's got the Under Armour bag, it's got the mask, we've got the chest protector, and the shin guards, and it's all Under Armour. So I think I'm just gonna do a big bundle deal on this, uh, throw it on eBay. I should get 50 bucks pretty easily, I think, because this stuff is really expensive when it's new. Usually the masks are anywhere from like 50 to 100, chest protectors are another 25, the shin guards are another 30 or 40. So I think I'll do good with that, and I'm pretty sure I paid five for that. All right, here are the lunch boxes, and this isn't even all of them. I couldn't fit them all on the table, so there's like four or five more, but you kind of get an idea of what's here. They had them priced at $6 each, and they just are not in very good condition. There's a lot of rust on a bunch of them. Uh, they didn't have the thermoses, so I don't know if there's a ton of value here. That's why I offered 40 and eventually settled on paying 50 I do think there's a couple I can sell for around 20 to 30 bucks, maybe, like... Uh, this vintage McDonald's one from the 80s is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. This Mr. Merlin one is pretty neat. So I think I'll probably cherry pick these and list three or four of them on eBay and turn a little bit of a profit. And then the rest of them I'm going to run through my buddy Justin's auction here locally. Uh, just like one big vintage lunchbox lot. And I think he'll do pretty good with them. So I'd say all in all, I should double my money. It's not a huge money maker, but it is pretty cool. And I don't know that much about vintage lunchboxes. So I'll kind of learn a little bit about them in the process. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.